the going everybody off for gear back with another video on Final Fantasy 16. Hope you guys are excited. I feel like it's been a little bit of a while. Because I've been knocking out some of that Eyes of P content. That thing is pretty good. That's why. We're seeing troops amassing at every so, border cross. Here we go. Clive, you're back. I am. And with glad tidings for once. Ooh. Hugo Kupka is no more. Well, I'll be. All of our comrades who lost their lives back at Sid's place be smiling down at you right now. We had a stolas from Lubor saying Drake's fang had fallen. Yeah. I expect that was your doing as well, was it? That's right. It's, it's a long story. One for the history books, I'll bet. <laughs> Welcome home, Clive. It's good to be back. You look better. I feel it. Which means I'm coming on your next little adventure. You're not leaving me behind again. Wouldn't dream of it. Otto. Any uh, word on the royalist movements since I've been away? Shouldn't you be putting your feet up? <sighs> If you really want to know, thank you. I will. Sweet. Vivian. Oi. What's been going on? Ah, the conquering hero returns. And with hardly a scratch on him. I may have picked up one or two. Ooh. Well, the fact that you came straight to me instead of visiting our resident Physica suggests that you picked up something more important. The scent of Wulu. The very same. But whatever plans Kupka was hatching with the royalists, he tested his men, slaughtered by the orcs who'd taken over the fang. Ooh. Orcs, Vivian. I've never seen such creatures in storm before. The Waluders must have ferried them over from Ash, but why? Why work to rescue Kupka only to invade his home? The mother crystal of an... It makes no sense. Do you know the tale of the blind men and the adamantus? One can often be led astray by focusing too closely on individual details. One must instead see the bigger picture. And what bigger picture is there than my map? <laughs> the kingdom of Walud claims dominion over all of Ash. It is a nation forged by the bloody conquest of Barnabas Tharm, the dominant of Odin. The Canvarian War of Independence in 849. The Battle of the Twin Realms in 865. The Battle of Bellinus Tor in 873. Wheresoever his armies fought, yeah. Odin was found where the fighting was fiercest. But of late, the warrior king appears to have laid his sword to rest. Battle rages for control of the crystalline dominion. Yet Tharm sends not a single ship in support of his Dalmechian allies. Meanwhile, the Blight ravages great swathes of ash. Yet warlike Walud shows not the faintest interest in laying claim to untouched lands. So why go to the trouble of sending an army of orcs into the heart of Drake's Fang? Damn. Only to make no attempt to claim the Mother Crystal for Walud. It can hardly be for lack of men. Tharm's armies rival any in the Twins. No. We have not seen the last of the Waluda standard. Odin will ride again. It is but a question of when. Yep. And when on will that do day, it? who will be trampled underfoot? Wow, son. I know only that it is part of some broader scheme. One King Barnabas. But there is no need to worry. If one is to cure a sickness, one must first identify the symptoms. And you're... <laughs> Indeed he is. Which means all that remains for us to... Well, not quite. The people of the hideaway must hear the news. The wounds he left that night are still mm. raw. Especially mm. for those who lived with Sid the longest. Tell them. That those wounds might finally begin to heal. Consider it the price of today's instruction. 
I've never known you to be sentimental. <laughs> what can I say? I am only human. And we are, all of us, sentimental animals at heart. I suppose we are. Go spread the word, bro. Let's go. Oh, new crafting recipe. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, someone looks pleased with him. Nothing escapes you, lady. It's true. Mm. Good. Start to get a crick in my neck. Don't let it go to your head. Thorn. What is it? I wanted to tell you that... <sighs> I can't tell you how long I've been waiting to hear those words. <laughs> Under a new Sid. <laughs> I'll try to live up to the name. No, no, no. Talk some. What do you need? Use a forge. What do you want? What do you want? We want a new sword, a diamond sword. What? White horn and bone. I don't have it. Hmm. Reinforce. And reinforce this for sure. It Let's do that. a good while. A gelatin mess. Gelatinous mess. That it? Yes. That's it. Alright, let's go talk to this dude. Hypocrates. Hypocrates? 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 I don't know. But this is the only thing I don't like about this game. I I love it for me. But for you guys, I feel like it's like. Ah, Clive, have you come seeking the gift of. No. no. To share mine, actually. He He's crying. <laughs> and with good reason, children. These are tears of joy. We must offer. There shall be no lessons today, only thanksgiving and merrymaking. <laughs> Go put away your thing. All right. Brilliant. Finally. Uh, it does. Thank you, Clive. I cannot wait to share the good. Hippocrates. Hippocrates. After Kuka fell, I need to know what he is. Alas, no, and not for want of trying, not Damn. even the sort of conspicuous absence that might suggest a concealment of fact. One is almost tempted to conclude that such a creature never existed. But I saw him. I don't doubt that, alas, it seems you are the o To others, he reveals naught. We see only that which he leaves in his wake. Like some a brother of death. Whether mm. the Ultima you met with was the being itself or merely another but until I do, mother. Thank you. Right. Sweet. Let's see if Otto has anything else for me. Oh, I'm never drinking Let's go see I'm Otto. Telling you, it's true. I heard it from Otto's own lips. Everybody's happy. That dude is bone. We're seeing troops amassing at every border crossing. You barely sat down since you came home. Just spreading the word. So, the professor's got a soft side. No. She was right. Ah, oh, but you ain't told. I can think of plenty of friends back at the old hideaway who'd sleep more, not least of all Sid. You mm. should tell him. Well, when you do, be sure to tell me. She's been going at it hammer and tong down at that workshop of hers, trying to do her father proud. But I can't remember the last time she visited the old sod's grave. Very well. That's the daughter. I'll suggest it. I didn't even realize that.
go this way. to visit Sid. Sorry, I'm too busy. I've got to get this thermal displacement stuff. So, <laughs> and uh, this is for ship? Only the fastest, finest ship the world has ever seen. Me and my dad designed it together. Where other vessels rely on the fickle winds to drive them through the water. Ours is fitted with mithril engines. And those things have got more push than a behemoth in a bad mood. And more heat than... Which is where the... I may have already talked some tight-lipped shipwrights into putting the hull together for me in a little... But the stack's a bit more involved, so I'm building it. Thing is, it's so involved that I'm running behind and it's starting to hold... I'll come and see my dad, though, when I'm done. Whenever that is. <sighs> is there any... Who is her mom? Stoffus Tillemon. Uh, daughter of a student of engineering, the university of Ken from young age, made sure the same passion for invention as her father and a great aptitude she is well versed in this. Secrets of modern fallen technology, a scholar of twins. Who is a mom? Thing I can do to help. Good old Clive. First things first. The sack will be made up of three major components. There's the plate in, here, that channels hot vapors away from the engine. The helm over the top, that disperses all that heat into the air. And the shielding around the sides, that stops the rest of the... Okay. Uh, probably best to take it one piece at a... Then you'll need to start with the plating. Everything else fits. I've got the designs and the list of... Show these to Blackthorn. All right, we're just running errands right now. I can't make it, not tell them. Luckily, you don't need to. <laughs> Calling him dumb. Editors started reading books that don't have any pictures in. It hasn't. Hmm. Ciao, bro. Alright, you. Blackthorn. How with it? It's for me. This is my last chance to say I'm otherwise engaged. I'd spare myself the answer. Go on then. She said you would know. Gregor's Tate. <laughs> well, I don't know what the hell you'd want this for, but I can make it. And I'll need help. Get Gavin Otto in here, will you? All right. So Lid's roped us all in here again, has she? Still, if that's what it takes to get her to visit Sid's grave. And, uh... Take a look at this. It's, that means an alloy. Something that won't break or buckle at a temperature, which is where you lot come in. I need materials, and I've got my work cut out already. Now, there's a special kind of sand I'm after that you can only find out in the Valkroy. Stardust, they call it. As for the rest of the stuff, my usual supply should have it in stock. It just needs buying and... Well, we'll get it done quicker if we split up. One of us should probably give you an hand coat in the sand. And the other can go and get the rest from... Right then. We'll make your minds up who's going where. We can get this... Okay. Let's do that. Jesus. You going after the... Which one of these two... Lo I'll take Gav. Gav. All right then. So, uh. There's a river that runs through the southern reaches of the Velcroy. It's the black sand that washes up on its banks that you're after. Southern reaches of the Velcroy, eh? I'll go and scout the place out. See about hiring us a wagon. All right. Um, While you're off having a paddle, I'll pick up the rest of the. You two, eh? Don't go letting them fleece you. Fleece me? <laughs> Hmm. 
All right. Let's get these errands started. We're going. That's where we're going. Got a lot of uh extra stuff, bro. Okay. <sighs> it's okay. Looks like I found the river. Where's Gav? <sighs> Ambrose, you won't help me here. Yeah. Hmm. Where's this dude at? Oh, what's this? We went too far. Never. I've had a quick scout about, and I reckon round here's our best bet. Don't know what Blackthorn's planning to do with it, though. I asked over in Dallamill, and this, but if Stardust is what Blackthorn wants, Stardust is what he'll get. There's plenty of the stuff lying about, just begging. Then let's get begging, shall we? We shall. All right, my boy. There you go. Girl. Fly Ambrosia. Oh. You deserve a rest. So this is Stardust. <laughs> it just looked like Black Sand to me. We got a little bro. I am literally running errands. That should be enough for now. Let's see how Gav's getting on. Boosties, go. There it is. Oh, damn. You finished? Enough. Was that like five bucks? Five bags worth? You, that might even be enough for... Here, I... Oh no. Must I have a chat? Feels like ages since we had the chance to talk. You know. It does, does it? Back when you first took Sid's name, we were talking all the time. Working out what to do in. <laughs> there was a lot to work out. And there still is. Those shoulders of yours starting to feel the strain. Hardly ever see you around the hideaway nowadays. You can take a day off. Says the man who spends most of his time behind enemy lines. <laughs> Only because you keep sending me there. I know I can count on you, Gav. Likewise. This gives me feeling like it's so somebody's you keep gonna sending die. Sending me wherever you need, and I'll keep going. Safe in the knowledge that I have a home to come back to. Thanks to you. How just happened? Like a bromance moment? Bro. Oh. 
Right. That's enough soppy shite for one day. Yes. Better get this lot back to Blackthorn before he slings his hammer at someone. You going ahead. Oh, I plan after Blackthorn gets what he needs. We're all going back. Right. Ready to go home, boy. So, in case you guys didn't know why it looks so different, I uh, changed their armor because there's a new update on that. I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. And I did. And I do feel like they looked all the much more better for it. So, it's him, Jill, and the dog. Let's hope this is all Blackthorn needs. Mm -hmm. I feel tired. Blackthorn. Yeah. Cheers for the stardust. Should be enough to be getting on. We should go out on maneuvers to get your beats sneaking around. I'll make a start on putting this firm all plating together then. It will take some time, mind. So if you've got other things to be getting on with. Thank you, Blackthorn. I'll let. Quest complete. Wait. It's all just money. Suppose we'd better be getting back. Give us a shot if you need it. All right. I'll we'll talk to mid. I went up to give some greens to the chocolate. I don't know how I feel about this, man. Almost like this in this game are just like, bleh. But I want to finish it. Oh, crap, wrong way. Editors started reading books that don't have any. If I don't come up with something soon. You'll be pleased to hear that Black thought. Excellent! So, the helm of for this will be repurposing fallen scrolls. Salvage from the ruins. Ah, but we don't. I'm sorry. Just so happens there's one particular ruin that's broken into exactly the right shape and size. What's the name back there? I'll give you all details. What's her name back there? What's her name? Oh, Sid, is this about the helm? Uh, yes. I'll show you the. Here you see the mithril engine in which mithril is burned to generate heat. That he excess heat is dealt with by means of the now. In other words, the re this is where the power expand. Not only that, they're also waterproof and immune to rust, making them the perfect. Why, if sea or rainwater were to enter the reactor proper, it would vaporize instantly. The forces produced would tear. You can stop there. Mid said we might be able to. Where would I find it? Ah, yes. It the thing. It's no. I see. Would that help? Oh, I'll gather my team and head there right away. Sweet. Let's go do that. Call me the errand boy. On our way. Can't even wait. Can I go through there and then go run this back this way? Maybe we can get lucky. Turn around. Oh. No? Oh, that's whack. That is super whack. Good day to you. Talk to me. Gotta go up there and then take off. Faster, dude, faster. The wheel is on.
Oh no. This is no time to ride. Bro, let me get on the dead truck. Help me here. What a big ass circle, man. Help me out. There it is. Good girl. Let's go. so scared oh there you are Sid the uh ruins are just over there as of course all right what is it I'm get this get whooped anybody home the chest to the left oh. Doc said, yeah this dude right here this must be our unwanted visitor. Time to go. Things I do for you. Sid! You shouldn't have any trouble. Indeed. Well, don't let us. All right. All I am right now is a damn errand boy. Okay, now back to mid. I really do like it's kind of seamless though. I 
I think I can talk to the people in the front and I get some rewards for having my stuff really high up. Right here. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back so soon. You Your mean? benefactors are a generous lot. Let's see. All yours. That's right. Then I got meteorite and high cleric stuff. And I don't know about that one. All done? Yes. Okay. Time to go up. Up to mid. I should just stop. So it is not even part of the story. Yeah, I'm working on it, bro. Yo, one more piece. If I don't come up with something soon. Mid. Excellent. And right. Right. The, How so? The plating is enough to stop the engines going pop. But those things will still be spitting out enough fire to set the rest of it. Which is why you need a prism for the dragon's breath that's blazing away inside. I thought a triple thick layer of tempered steel might do it. Or more of the stuff that the Fallen use, but they both be too... The helm and the plating are bulky enough as it is. Add any more weight and the whole ship would be at the bottom of the briny before we'd even started. I need something light. But I've wrapped my brains and I just can't think what I'd do it. Hmm. Well, if I were in need of obscure, I know whose counsel I would... Tomes? Yeah, I've got all the details written down. Can you take this to him? Right away. Bro, I'm just a freaking errand boy right now. It's alright, just gotta get through this. Just started reading books get through it. Be okay. Well, actually, it's for mid. Could you take a look at it? Hmm. <laughs> Shielding for a mid. What are these notes around the edges? She has some specific requirements for the materials. The shielding needs to be able to resist extreme heat on the inside and remain cool enough on the outside not to set the ship alight, while also being light, as you can imagine. I see. I wondered if you might know of a solution. Or... Hmm, perhaps. It is not a different material, Shirin. What do you mean? Consider the lake we have made our home. Its blighted waters eat away far more quickly than fresh water or even brine. At timber and steel alike. And yet, we have made a home here from those very materials nonetheless. Hmm. We have. But Bardolf must varnish every board twice over to keep it from rotting. And Obelus complains that without a cop... I see. Early Gregorian histories speak of a preparation known as Moondew. Before the Dragoons tamed the worms and wyverns of the realm, nobles would daub their castle walls with it in order to... So if we could recreate... It might be applied to some material or other in order to provide the protection Mid requires. As to how best to apply it and to what material, Perhaps Bardolf and Obelus might... I shall speak to them and see if you would be so kind as to procure the necessary ingredients. I shall... The knowledge... Thank you, Harpocrates. And since you're asking others to help you... Dog. So you need a hand? We do. I'll be heading to market for the ingredients we need. But the other can assist me in researching how can we count on your aid? Always. Well, if... Thank you. I am sure either of these fine young minds would prove indispensable in my... What? What does it matter? Or should I just take Joe like usual? You. Shielding that guards against even the most ferocious flames. So, Cla... Who will accompany... Taking Joe. Very well. 
So then. I have taken the liberty of... Why? Are you sure? I would have thought the ingredients... Though these items may seem mundane, they have potent effects so much now, of course. Is that so? I've been meaning to visit Northreach anyway. I will. You two enjoy your... You too, Ty. Somebody help me. For the love of God. Hopefully, I just find this, and then that'll be the end of it. No, where's Jill? Where's she? Give them pooches nice and chew. Where's she? Are those papio nuts? How goes the hunt for ingredients? Uh, I'm sure everything we need is somewhere amongst. Why don't we split up and? All right. How about I'll find. Splitting up. Sweet. Up. You'll not find a bruised pippin. Fresh cuts. Early. You. Any friend of the innkeeper is a friend of mine. Ah, yes. I trust it's all here. Um, sell valuables. Damn. Good day. Now your money. All anyone ever wants anymore is Get out of the way, bro. You. How the hell is anyone? Buy. Sell or be gone. And go on, take it. And that's everything. Let's see how Jill's getting on. Welcome, welcome. Answer. Oh, I'll grab I this. do like a customer who knows what he wants. You've a keen eye. I'm buying them because I don't I have do them. I like a customer who knows what I'm he going wants. to assume and a fine, fine that I'll probably you. need them to make other things. So, is that what you need? Did you find? I did. Garlic and now all that remains is for Harpocrates. But before we head back. Nico, what the heck? Thank you for us. It does. It's good. Just being here. Do you remember walking down my... <laughs> How could I forget? What with Torgal's antics? Remember how his cool. nose would prick up at the scent of sausages? He'd go <laughs> racing away and we'd have to go running after him. We wouldn't catch you now, would we, boy? Was there anything you wanted to buy for yourself? There was, yeah. Molly in the kitchens told me about a place that sells... I thought you might like to share one. I would. And I saw some bread. Big white cobs like the baker back in Rosalith used to make. What do you think? I thought we might get some soup to dip it in. But then I tried a slice of the butcher's dry-cured ham and it was just... Oh. It's just... Uh, you're right. Clive. Is it wrong of me to enjoy that? No, Jill. This is how life should be. It's their moment. This is how our lives Together. will be when our work is fine. When we can live on our own. Thank you. I'm gonna kiss? Well, I need to give these ingredients. I'll see you at the house. Take care. Okay. Bro. I wonder how Hippocrates is getting on with the moon dew. Oh, 
How's work on the shielding program? Well, very well indeed. I was just explaining to Taya, and now that we have all the... You can count on me. I've mixed more than a few mysterious concoctions. <laughs> what about the shielding? Work is underway. Under the watchful. Apparently, it'll be ready. Thank you. Right then. Jill, would you join me in the... Of course. Sweet. Come on. Oh, and Clive, thank you. <laughs> It appears our work here. A shame. I was in when both the shielding and the moon dew are ready. It will be followed by a rigorous process of test. Perhaps someone ought to warn. Leave it to me. Thank you. So many cutscenes right now, dude. Well, I better go and give Mid the good news then. This is what it is. Onward. Onward, man! How are you guys doing? Are you guys having a great time? Because I see, I don't mind any of this. But I don't want to bore you guys. Started reading no? books that don't have any pictures in. That's where it's like, are you guys even watching? Like, does even are you skipping the video now because it's all so boring? Like, no. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be pleased to know that work on the. You found something for. In a manner of speaking, Hippocrates knew of a substance that is supervising the construction and testing of the. Brilliant! I knew. Oh, thank me. Right then. Let's start working out how to bolt all these bits together to the black hat. You know, when I got into the smithing, I thought I'd be making swords and shields, not thermal bleeding didgeridoo does. Displacement stack. Same difference. Whatever you call it, I ain't putting it together in here. It's cramped enough as. Let's take this out, Sot. Mid, you get all the parts lined up on the deck. I'll on my way! Oh, and bring me the biggest salmon you can find. This is gonna require some precision wallaby. <laughs> this dude. Why does it look like crap? It's finished. Fuck for that. I'll be feeling my hammer off. Thank you. That's one down and just three more. I'm sorry. Oh, oh didn't I tell you? The Enterprise has four mithril engines and will be. You don't mean. <laughs> now they've got a finished one to work off. My gang in Canva can. Good luck to them. Right, I'm off to get a sling for this elbow. Any other work comes in, keep it to yourselves, eh? Nick told me she was building a ship. Is that it? What's the matter? Nothing. Thinking about the Enterprise sailing off, searching for a land untouched by the blight. So if the worst came to the worst, and every scrap of soil in the twins turned black, that's what she was meant to be. You see, one last chance just in case we needed it. But now she's so close to being finished. I've realized I don't want it to be just a lifeboat for us to cling to. If think I want, I want people to sail aboard her by choice in a world where we're not just trying to survive, but I'm working on that and I'll do everything I can to get you what you want. <laughs> don't you always? All right. As soon as the Enterprise is fit to sail, I'm put sod our plans. I'm trusting in yours. Are you sure? Something tells me it's what my dad would have wanted. Ooh. He'd be proud of you. You, um... I was. Right. There's just one thing I need to finish up first. All right. 
I'll let Otto know you. Aye, aye, Cap. All right. Time to talk to Otto. All right, Clive. Me had finished sending half the Idaway troops in across the twins, has she? I swear, that girl would do anything to put off visiting her old dad's. No excuses now. Not quite. She said there was one final thing she had. She said that? She. Clive, were you born yesterday or something? She'll probably be halfway to camp. Oh, man. Hey, what happened? Who the hell are you? Obelus. Obelus. Yep. Mm, you in a hurry at all, are ya? Oh, I offered to take her across, but she would. <laughs> got some. But anyway, I've got a letter. Urgent, by the sound of it. One of your uncle's men said I was. Thank you, Obelus. Don't mention. What's going on? She's getting serious. What tidings, Uncle? Oh. Now is it going on to flee cities by which I learned of endeavors of a certain young friend of yours. So found that Miss Teller must probably be quite valid in the prize of the dock. Very nice. Very dockyard somewhere. Oh crap. Troubling camera. Well, so what? Mid got us to do all the dirty work. It, uh, well, the next time you plan on visiting Sid, you might want to tie her to something before you suggest. Ah, oh, don't be so hard on her. Gotta admit, the dirty work was kind of just like when we built this. <laughs> anyway. We all set to head to the old hideaway. I could do with getting to camp that wouldn't do to keep Lord Rosfield of the Seven High Houses waiting now, would it? Not after he asked for me personally. This dude. will be leaving with me. You can go on. Just be sure we'll give Sid and the others more. Oh, by the way, Jill will be joining us too. She's got some things to take care of. I hope she's telling the truth at least. <laughs> that line like mid. Oh, this is that and only that. All right, after this section, that'll be it. the phoenix can't be in two places at once if it had been with us maybe he could have done something for the lost not even the phoenix can bring people back from the dead life has a beginning and an end so we must live while we have the chance Yep. Not as slaves to the crystals, but as free men. May we join you? Oh, damn. Lady 
Karen. What a pleasant surprise. I thought I'd drop by and see how you were all doing before heading off to restock my supplies. It wasn't the most scenic view back then, but it were never as bad as this. I know. The blight marches on. And soon, there will be no escaping sights like these. So our mission remains unchanged. We cannot stop until every Mother Crystal is gone, and their thirst for ether with them. The only one that remains in Storm is Drake's tail in the Crystalline Dominion. No one left. Our next target. We're going to Twinside. It's the capital of the Empire these days. I wouldn't like to think how tightly guarded they've got the place. Not that that'll stop you. But we do well to scout it out before you go charging in. We would indeed. If you're off to the Dominion, you can take this great lump with you. <laughs> Goods. Oh, I am sorry. Have you forgotten you're the most wanted man in the Twins? <laughs> I thought you might like to disguise yourselves as the attendants of a travelling trader. Assuming you've no better ideas. You're not wrong. You wanted to buy yourself some tools, didn't you? Well, now's your chance. <laughs> you letting me go with them? Oh, thanks, <laughs> Nan. Stop that. You break me bones, you great galoot. <laughs> <laughs> There's a caravan that runs back and forth between the Dominion and the Boklad markets. It's managed by the Merchants Guild. Just show them Goots' traders pass, and you'll be on your way. It'll be a damn sight less risky than footing it the length of the Crystal Road. That's for sure. Thank you, Karen. And glad to have you with us, Goots. Oh, oh, okay then. I'll get me things, and I'll meet yous there. See yous down in Bucklad. Get off! Me poor fingers! <laughs> Jill, you're with me. Understood. And Gav? Already on my way, Captain. Be careful. Aren't I always? You see that, Sid? Your protege is making a proper little outlaw of himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to assume we're getting close to the end. Oh, the title of this one's going to be Aaron the Boy. Let's, let's, let's go. You guys all enjoyed this episode and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one off oh, it gets out peace how are you feeling